Hello, with this example, I'm going to show you how continue keyword works within the loop. Continue keyword can be used exclusively within a looping block. You cannot use continue outside of a loop block. And it can be used in either of the three looping structures available for loop while loop or do while loop. Continue keyword, if encountered within a loop block, then it skips the rest of the current iteration and goes to the next iteration of the loop. Now, with this example, I'm going to show you how it works. Here we have a simple for loop. Count starts from 1 and it goes up to 100. Uh, and each time we are incrementing count by 1. And we are printing the count within the loop body. Now it's going to print from 1 to 100. We know that. But now if I just put a condition something like this, say count percent 2 equals to equals to 0, then continue. And what it is going to do, I'm just putting the printf statement after this if statement. So we have this continue statement with the condition prior to the printing statement. Now what it is going to do, if this condition is true, that means if the count is even number, then it's going to continue. That means it's going to the next iteration without printing the printf. That means this particular example is going to print only the odd numbers when the loop iterates. Let me just try run. Now when the value of count is 1, then you are entering to the loop for the first time and 1 percent 2 is 1 that's not equals to 0 so this condition is false and it will come here and it will print the value of count as 1 and then the next iteration takes place the value of count is increased to 2 now 2 less than equals to 100 that's true it's correct it comes inside the loop and 2 percent 2 is 0 that's true so the continue keyword is encountered and it takes the control here immediately without doing the rest of the instructions in the loop body. That means it will skip this portion. Whatever there in the loop will be skipped and it will go to the next iteration. That means the modifier section will be executed immediately. So the value of count is going to be incremented to 3 and again the condition will be tested and the condition is true. So it comes inside the loop 3 percent 2 is 1 that's not equals to true. So in that case it comes here and prints 3. So all the odd numbers in this case are going to be printed instead of the uh, values from 1 to 100. So that's how the continue works. Let me show you the execution. Here you can see that all the odd numbers has been printed. This is starting from 1, 3, 5, 7 and goes up to 99. Thank you.